Okay, so this is a quick demonstration on how to do a uh, pocketing operation in HeeksCAD. Um, I'm going to go open up the part that I'm working on. Uh, this is a step file that I've created in SolidWorks. So here it is. It's just a little plate with a pocket in it that has an island, this triangular island in it. So the point of this is that we want to cut out the space uh, here in this pocket without cutting out the triangle. So it's a multi-profile pocket. I have an outside profile and an inside profile. We want to cut in between. Okay. So what we uh, want to do is we have a solid here, so we can right-click on the face and select face and make sketch. So we have a sketch here that uh, that we will make our, uh, our 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 pocketing operation with. Uh, now the way that uh, the when we do this um, face uh, make sketch operation, the way that it does it, it does it in a way that uh, it puts the sketches in the right order for a pocketing operation. So all we have to do is hit sketch, come up here, new pocket operation, and put in all the correct parameters. So I'm going to be using an 8mm end mill. Um, so I'm going to have a 4mm step over. Um, I'm going to have uh, no material allowance. We're just going to assume this is the finishing operation for that, so we don't want to leave any extra stock to cut off later with a profile operation. Uh, all these are going to be the same tool diameters, 8 millimeters, and clearance height. This is the height up above the part where we'll have rapid moves in the XY plane. Um, so the part is 10 millimeters tall. Uh, the zero coordinate is at the bottom. Um, so our clearance height is going to be 2 millimeters above the top of the part, or in other words, 12 millimeters. Now the step down, this is how far each step is when we're cutting down our pocket. Um, this is the, the pocket is 5 millimeters deep, and we're going to take it in two steps, so 2.5 millimeters. The start depth is the Z dimension that parking, pocketing stops. Um, so the start depth is above the final depth. Um, so the start depth in this case is 10 millimeters. The final depth is 5 millimeters. The rapid down height better be above the part, um, really above the clearance height. So this will be 14 millimeters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some feed rates in here and some sp spindle speed. Yeah, let's go ahead and po post-process that and see what that gives us. Okay, there we go. So that that's what we want. Uh, it comes around the pocket or around the the triangular island there and doesn't cut into it, but cuts out the spot. But when we look a little bit closer, we've got a problem down here. There's no tool path cutting this area here. Millimeter from this line to that line is only five millimeters, so the tool can't fit in there. Um, and it's because the geometry that we have and the way that we've selected that it won't fit in there. It, it, the, the tool will not pass this boundary along the edge of this part because um, that's, that's the sketch that we've selected. So sometimes we want to come in and we we'll want to modify the geometry for a specific operation. So I, I've looked at the different options and they're, they're uh, it's very simple. Um, I'm just going to go into my CAD software and for the operation sell a body that's so um, this has a five millimeter gap now um, I went ahead and when I created this part I also created a, a part that had uh, an extended section so here instead of only being five millimeters it's eight millimeters wide now we won't use this for other operations on this part, but we'll use it on this one so that it's easy to uh, do the profiling operation. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate that real quick. I'm not going to modify many of the parameters here. Um, uh, 10 and 5. Just go ahead and illustrate that. Oh, I better change the, the diameter of the tool back to 8 millimeters so that you'll believe me. <laughs> Uh, zero material allowance and eight millimeters with a step over of four millimeters.
Okay, there's our operation. Um, so it came around here and got this edge, cleaned it up. Now the part still really only goes to here. Operation can extend past that path. Um, that would be nice in the future in Heeksked to be able to select a portion of this an uh, or more specify elements and a piece and that'd be nice. They're having a graphic and task or lots of shit. Something like make a, a new sketch that has something like this geometry in it, like not even consider using a solid body. So um, I also went and made a copy of this, just a two-dimensional top view of it, um, with QCAD and put it, made it in a DXF format. Uh oh, that's not that's not it. Newman dot DXF. Okay, so here's our part from the top. Um, currently, it's a single sketch. So I'm going to split the sketch into the three portions. And these two are the ones that we're interested in. So we're going to make this one be counterclockwise. I'm going to combine these two sketches. So now we have a single sketch that we can do a profile operation or a pocketing operation on. Now this is interesting. Um, I did what's on the wiki uh, of, of how to do this operation is to have both these sketch for a moment. Um, what the wiki says is that one that they that these two operations these two have opposite direction order down here. Notice that as I'm creating they actually have to be the same. So you might have to experiment with that for a little while now. Um, But uh, now that that's fixed, we ought to be able to uh, come down here and um, fix this. Now it doesn't matter that the geometry is two-dimensional because we can specify the start depth is ten millimeters and the final depth is five millimeters. Um, just forget about the rest of those. So that when I calculate, when we go ahead and do the post processing here, okay, so it went ahead and did it. Now, if we look here from the side, 10 millimeters is here. This is 7.5 millimeters. That's 5 millimeters. This is zero. So we don't really need the three dimensional geometry at all to do this operation. All we need is the is the two dimensional because this is what we call two five. Um, so Z, so there's really no need to have three-dimensional geometries and all how deep. So, so uh, that's that. Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, hope it's just not confusing. So hopefully, as um, we have since we and hopefully a lot more soon. Um, but anyway, that's uh, pocketing in Heeks CAD.